called to order, you now stand in eternal judgment. I have before me a book chronicling the lives of everyone who has ever lived. Every deed, whether committed in public or private, is recorded here as evidence to the court. I have opened the Lamb's Book of Life. The names recorded in this book are those who have accepted Jesus Christ as Lord of their life. Only the people recorded in this book shall be allowed into heaven. All others not found in this book shall be judged according to their sins and then cast into everlasting darkness separated from me for eternity. When I call your name, please step forward. Sarah Evans. Is there one here who wishes to accuse her? I am her accuser. Is there one here to defend the accused? I am her defender. What are the accusations against her? This girl has rebuked me in the name of her defender on many occasions. She has deliberately pulled countless seeds away from my grip and has falsely accused me multiple times. All these things I see as blatant slander statements and outright criminal behavior. There is nothing criminal about Sarah's behavior. She has sought righteousness all her young life and witnessed to others even until the very end. She came to me as a child, and like a child, her innocence is evident, and her purity is what all should seek to come into my kingdom with. She was even willing to become a martyr as she refused to deny her Savior. I object. I've heard enough. For there is no proof of any misdoings. To the contrary, Sarah, I've searched the Lamb's Book of Life and found your name recorded therein. You've been proven a true and faithful servant to Jesus. Today I find you innocent of all wrongdoing. You stand in his righteousness alone, and you're welcome to heaven, my child. Enter my good and faithful servant in whom I'm well pleased. Thank you. That's all I've ever wanted to hear. It was so worth it. Ben Thompson, please come forward. Is there one to accuse him? Yes, I will. I know him well. Very well. Is there one who wishes to represent the accused? Yes. Ben is a friend of mine. I will represent him. What are the accusations against him? Ben here is a long list of offenses against him. Lying, cheating, stealing, lust, anger, just to name a few. Only a short while ago, he proclaimed there was no God and attempted to murder a youth pastor. He was recently a cohort in a sinister plan to blow up a theater. The very least this criminal should get is sentenced to hell for all eternity. Your Honor, I find no record of any of those actions. That's not surprising to me, for I have searched the Lamb's Book of Life, and I have found your name been recorded therein. Wait, I know this boy is guilty. I was there for all of it. Your Honor, he's correct. I did all of those terrible things. I'm not worthy to enter heaven. Court assistant, please turn to the final page in Ben's story and show the court what is there. In Ben's final moments of life, he made the decision to follow me. He then proclaimed the gospel to Scott and ultimately sacrificed his own life trying to save another, and there's no greater love than that. He accepted me, proclaimed my name, and followed my commandment to love others. Because of this, I have paid for his sins with the blood of my own sacrifice, cast those sins as far from him as the east is from the west, and I stand before you now praising his good works. Then, because you accepted Jesus as Lord of your life, your record is clean before this court. It says paid in full, washed in the blood of the Lamb. Today, my friend, you have an entrance into heaven. Come inside and you'll see me here. I was never really alone. Thank you so much. Scott McAllister, please come forward. Is there one that wishes to accuse him? I do. Is there one that wishes to represent the accused? You represented Ben. Why would you represent me? I know Ben, but I don't know you. But you know my mom, so you must know me. Very well. What are the accusations against him? 
lying, stealing, lust, hatred, denying God, and murder. Your Honor, I am finding many instances of those actions in our records. I have searched through the Book of Life, and your name is not recorded therein. But now that's fair. I mean, look at my mom. She glorified God and gave him all he wanted. But now look at her. She's dead of cancer. Why well, should I worship some God that won't come down here and help us out with our children? She was being heaven now because she was such a good little person. Can I not go there because she was so good? No one told me about any of this. Scott, I was with your mother, and I was available for you. Sarah told you about me. Pastor Toby told you. Even Ben told you. But now... Now you will be alone with no one to help you. You won't be with your mother and you won't be with me. The only company you will have is company you won't want. If only you had accepted me, then you would never be alone. Entrance into heaven, young man, cannot be earned by good works. Neither can you come on behalf of another. Only those whose sins have been washed away by the blood of the Lamb. Only those who have accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior may enter in. Many times, young man, I have sent people to you to witness to you and tell you the gospel story. But each time you rejected the love of Jesus. Scott, today you've been judged in your sins and found guilty. You will now be cast into outer darkness where there is much weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. That's not fair. I wasn't told about this. I need to see about no, 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 Jesus, Jesus, please. Michelle Atkinson, please step forward. Michelle, the chronicles of the life of your life has not been completed yet. But be it known to all of you in this room that only those whose names are written in this Lamb's book of life shall enter into heaven. It is not my will that anyone should miss heaven. That's why in my great love for you, I sent Jesus. He died on the cross to pay your sin debt. To enter heaven you must be sin free and the only way to do that is by the righteousness of Jesus. Today you must choose to accept Jesus as Lord of your life. Then you can serve him with all your heart and love him all the days of your life and when you stand before me again you will stand in his righteousness alone. There will be no record of your sin. But if you reject him you set your course for eternity in outer darkness away from me. I prefer you choose Jesus today. I hope you do too.